Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome to Power Moves with Too Tall Toby. And today we're gonna talk about this functionality down here that's really annoying, where you end up getting this scroll bar and all this extra text in the tree. And I'm gonna show you a little shortcut you can use to trim the SolidWorks tree. Ow! So I think we've all been in this situation before, you know, you click on something from the graphics area because you wanna work on it over here in the feature manager area and you just end up getting kind of all this extra text that really isn't helpful. Uh, you're really not sure where you are in the tree. The scroll bar ends up going all the way over to this side and you just can't see anything in the tree. And certainly one solution might be to grab this little handle here on the feature manager and move this over so that you can read all the text. But by the time you move that all the way over, you're losing half of the screen area in SolidWorks. So I don't really think that's a good solution. I think a better solution is to identify what this text is here and to hide or choose not to display that text. And so what we're looking at here is the name of the configuration default, as well as the name of the display state default display state. Most of the time people just leave those as they're out of the box or default names. And so usually you could just choose not to show them and you're really not missing anything. And the way that we do that is we go all the way up to the top of the assembly tree here and we do a right mouse button over here and then we choose tree display and we choose to not show the display state names and we can also then right mouse button and go to tree display and choose to not show the component configuration names and so once we unselect both of those you can see that the tree is much more manageable we can see everything that we need to see in the tree here and i'm happy to say that we no longer have a scroll bar at the bottom and so we're not going to run into that issue of everything being shifted all the way over to one side this is a quick tip but it's something that i use a lot both in parts and in assemblies i like to call it trimming the solidworks tree and i hope that you enjoyed this tip if you did be sure to like be sure to subscribe, be sure to share this video with a fellow SolidWorks enthusiast, and of course, be sure to come back for the next episode of Power Moves.